In that wonderful book called Blue Ocean Strategy by W. Chan Kim and Renee Morborn, they urge you to go past that bloody red ocean of competition and begin to look for non-users, new markets that you can create demand in. But my clients often ask me, who's a non-user? Where do I find them? So I've termed the term blue swimmers, those folks who are swimming in another ocean where you can really, really begin to capture them in new ways. Who are they and how do I find them? Well, typically there are three kinds of blue swimmers. The first is somebody who might have used you but doesn't routinely. And for whatever reason, they have found alternatives or perhaps substitutes competitors to take care of their needs. The second group of non-users are very interesting because they refuse to use you. For whatever reason, they haven't found you as a solution for their problems. And the third is a non-user who's never thought of you. They really have never given thought that you might have a, a solution for them. And that's a very interesting blue swimmer waiting for you to begin to solve their problems in new ways. Now, how do I go find them? Well, you're going to have to first clear your head that you already know who your customers are in that bloody red ocean. And your job now is to go looking for that blue ocean of opportunity where you can create demand. Want some examples? Let me give them to you. I find the yellowtail wine story beautiful story because when they came to the United States in 2000, they really failed. There are 6,500 brands of wine competing for 15% of the Americans who drink wine. So what yellowtail did was go back to Australia, lick its wounds, and rethink itself came back and went after the 85% 85, 85 of Americans who never drink wine. That's 85% of Americans were non-users waiting for them to come. What did they drink? Beer or hard liquor or soda? But clearly they weren't wine connoisseurs. So they changed the whole dimension of what the wine drinker was and are now the fastest growing and largest wine producer in this country. The second one I love is the story about Shimano. Shimano makes the gears for bicycles. And their market was really saturated and not growing. $5,000 bikes had really stopped selling. And so between um, them, Deo, and uh, Rick, uh, Trek and Raleigh, and, and Raleigh, they became really known for producing a completely new bike called the Coasting Bike. This was a $500 bike. Who did they target? 160 million Americans who could ride bikes but had alternative ways of enjoying themselves. In fact, when they sent anthropologists out to talk to those um, people who could ride bikes, they learned that biking was fun, but not riding in a bike club and not dressing up and not spending $5,000 on it. Out of it came a whole new market going after non-users. And I love what Wii has done going after non-gamers. Not the people who use PlayStation and Xbox, but really the people who could play but aren't gamers. And now they're looking at girls. Girls are becoming one of the largest users of Wii, and they've never thought of them as gamers. Usually it was guys. There are lots of stories like that. There's one in your market as well, maybe two or three. But you now have to start looking for blue swimmers, non-users who could use you but haven't, and it's time to go exploring.